This is a video on making a textured mug. I'm starting out with about a pound of clay. It shrinks 14%, so a pound of clay will make about a 14 ounce mug for me when I'm done. I do throw on a motorized Randall wheel, so hopefully it won't make too much noise and you can hear what's going on. At this point, I'm gonna take off the throw rings on the outside of this mug. It's fairly important that this mug be smooth inside and out, and you'll see why in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and give that top a little bit of a bevel for sipping. I can reinforce that when we're done, but I'll start it now. Then I'm going to stop the wheel and I use craft foam. I have a computerized die cutter and I draw my own patterns and cut them out of craft foam. You can certainly use a bisque texture stamp you make yourself. You can use a purchased rubber texture sheet, um, but for my needs, I like the original stencil. And I'm going to place that craft foam around the cup. And I'm going to take a wooden pony roller and initially just to attach it. I'm gonna roll this horizontally around the cup. And once that's attached, taking that wheel, running my inside hand up the inside for support, I'm gonna roll this texture right onto that cup. This is not a super chunky cylinder, but it is bigger than I, it is thicker than I would usually throw. So I'm gonna take that off. And this particular one doesn't go all the way around. So I am just gonna match it up and roll the area that I missed. And naturally, that's going to leave your mug a little bit misshapen. So what I'm going to do is open it up and shape it at this point. I am either going to take the side of my finger and push it out, 
or use a sponge and push it out. If I use the tips of my fingers, there's horizontal ridges that'll show up on the outside of that pattern and I don't want that. So with a little support, my finger on my right hand, I'm gonna push the bottom of this out. And at this point, I can no longer touch the outside of my mug because if I do, obviously, I'm gonna obliterate that pattern. So I'm gonna push the outside of that mug and also push that little area out on top to curve that top portion in. Right, this is dried and I've trimmed it up slightly. Um, I did finish it off, although I didn't trim a foot ring. I did kind of give myself a little grippy spot here so it's easier for me to hold and dip this in the glaze. It also gives me a little catch ledge here uh, to catch any glaze instead of having it drip off onto my kiln shelf. I'm also gonna start out with a cone of clay. It doesn't have to be a huge cone of clay. Um, basically about the height of your mug is fine. And I'm going to pull a handle blank off this cone of clay. So I'm dipping that cone in the water. And I'm just pulling a handle blank to attach to that pot. And I can, I'm not trying to pull a finished handle. I just want a little bit more refined piece than a chunky carrot. I'm gonna trim this piece off. And I'm gonna hold this in my hand and I'm gonna tap out that point of attachment. I'm turning it around so it splays out evenly on all sides. And when I'm done, I kind of have something that looks along the lines of a railroad spike. And I'm gonna take a look at this mug and by throwing the mug in this shape, I really have two excellent points of attachment at both of that shoulder and belly area that come out. And for this handle, because the shape of this mug is a little bit wider on the top than it is on the bottom, I'm gonna put that point of attachment on the bottom and pull that handle up instead of putting it on the top and pulling it down. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute. And I learned to make most of my pulled handles from Bill Van Gilder and he taught me to just use water. So I don't slip, I don't score, I just use water, it works fine. Um, so I'm gonna wet the point of attachment at that bottom belly. And as soon as that gloss starts to go away on that surface, that's when it's tackiest. And I'm gonna sculpt that bottom of the handle on. I'm keeping my left hand inside to brace it. With my right index finger, I'm pushing that onto the bottom while my thumb pushes the clay onto the top. So I'm going to pull off this mug here. I'll move my water over here. I pull left-handed. I don't know why. It's just the way I started out. So I'm going to dip this in the water 
I get a little bit of that handle off there. I'm not going to need all that. So if I can show you in front of the camera, I'm tapering the sides because that's the way my hand is shaped when I hold it. So this is actually way longer than I need. So I'm going to trim a little bit of this off. Um, I like using these wire knives to do this. So I'm just going to. And that's my finished textured mug. Hopefully these techniques have helped some of you out there, and if you'd like to see more videos in the future, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.